Welcome everybody! In today's video we are gonna do something else. Something which wasn't in this channel before. I've been watching you. We are all have a hard time in 2020, which is probably would be continued to 2021 as well because of the pandemic. In this time, a lot of people has lost their jobs and a lot of us are searching a new job. I am also searching a new job in a business because guys, believe it or not, I am a smart businesswoman. <laughs> in today's video, I am gonna show you how to do a professional looking makeup to your resume just with an extremely cheap counter palette from Revolution Beauty. My hair is super super easy. I have only just bobby pinned my hair in the down part as you guys can see. So for the sake of this video. Just to look a little bit more professional. So I don't have any contacts today. I have my glasses on. As you guys, most of the time I look like this. No makeup, no nothing and my glasses. So, let's jump straight into the tutorial. For the disclaimer out there, I am not a professional by any means. I only just need a professional picture to my resume or CV. And I thought it would be for you helpful and informative if I'm gonna share the whole makeup process. What I am always done to a professional picture, to a CV or resume or to a job interview. And these are only just my experiences. Let's speak a little bit about the hairstyles. I think it looks way, way more professional. A hair like this or a lower ponytail. This is my two favorite hairstyles for a business interview. I wouldn't suggest you to do a high ponytail like this because it looks a little bit silly on the managing area in the business part. Never ever wear your hair in front of your face, like like this or something. You have to wear a hairstyle where your future boss can see your eyes and your face completely. So a useful tip, always fix your hair perfectly. 99% of the time I'm not using any heat or hairstyling products or anything to my hair. 99% uh, of the time I'm not doing anything to my hair to be honest but if I'm going to go to the job interview then I am fixing my hair with the strongest fixing spray that I can find in the local store because on the way from your home to the job interview you can end up looking like a lion if you are not fixing your hair properly trust me I've done that hmm? enough from the hair we can move it on to the face base so hello i wouldn't recommend to you to use too much makeup to your cv picture or resume picture because it may look amazing on a picture but in real life too much makeup face to face to your boss doesn't look so good i just got out from the shower i didn't done anything to my face i'm gonna use a hyaluronic acid serum from revolution beauty so just to make my skin a little bit more healthier looking for reference my skin is oily if it or not i'm not gonna use any foundation today that's strange huh and after that i'm gonna use a lip balm from ps cosmetics called retro girl this is only just a normal lip balm For my base, I'm gonna use a corrector and also a concealer and a primer. I'm gonna use the Angel Whale Skin Perfecting Primer from NYX Cosmetics because as you guys can see, I have a lot of blemishes and pimples going on on my face. But my skin is really getting better, you guys. I have not so much pimples, not so much blemishes and my pimples are also smaller and everything because I have found my holy grail skincare product for oily to combination skin and i am using it for three weeks now and oh my god i love it the best part my skincare products are so cheap 
I am really been enjoying this primer lately. As you guys can see, my skin looks a little bit healthier, better, and also smoother. And I'm gonna use the corrector shade because as you guys can see, I have dark circles under my eyes and also the pimples. We have to cover that. I'm gonna use a few dots under my eyes and also I'm gonna dot every pimple what I have just here a little bit like this and also I have here two pimples and one that's it please excuse my eyes today guys I am not having my glasses on and I am not having my contacts so and I have really bad eyes if I'm gonna focus on you then this is gonna happen that was the conceal and define liquid corrector in the shade peach from revolution beauty and i'm gonna use the conceal and define super size concealer in the shade c2 and also i'm gonna use a few dots under my eyes not too much and also a few dots to my forehead in the middle because I have way too wide forehead so I have to highlight a little bit my under eye area and also here in the middle of my forehead to look a little bit smaller and the other side of my forehead I'm gonna contour it down and I'm gonna blend everything together into my skin I'm not gonna use too much product to my forehead because as you guys can see I have really big fine lines basically the Grand Canyon on my forehead if you would like to have your base makeup really really natural looking then you have to layer it up starting with a little bit and if you are not completely fine with the coverage then you always can add a little bit more after this step I'm gonna use a little bit more from the corrector shade because I can see a little bit shadow under my eyes over here so I am layering and I am adding a little bit more and also one dot to the other side you are gonna blend it out if I have a makeup routine to my resume picture, I'm gonna use basically the same products and the same step and the same makeup to my job interview as well. Because if the boss can see a really nice picture from you, it's really solid and soft, and you are gonna call it, that means that the boss liked the picture and overall your resume. If you are gonna make a really heavy difference from the resume IO for example on one hand you are not wearing any makeup and you just walk up and you look like a piece of mm. the other hand to the job interview you are wearing a heavy heavily full makeup with a colored lip this is also not good if you are called back to a job interview that means your resume or CV was good enough so the makeup was also good enough in my experience if you do the same makeup as just at the resume io to the job interview because your future boss is expecting you to look like exactly the same as just on the resume and we are gonna go to the contouring part you have to use a contour to contour your face not a bronzer just a contour because a bronzer can have warm shades to bronze to warm up your face I would only just love to manipulate my bone structure I'm using the lightest shade in here I use this Royal Affair face brush from BH Cosmetics have to blend everything perfectly and seamlessly as you guys can see if I'm speaking to you straight into your eyes here is a little bit more light in the middle of my face and here you can see the shadows going on to make your face look smaller good very important here as well to blend your contour perfectly and seamlessly into your skin Second step, nose contour. I'm gonna wear, of course, my gloss. So I would love to make a slight nose contour to make my nose a little bit smaller. I am using the same shade all the way through. I am using a little tiny bit under my chin because I have a double chin. After this step, we are arriving to the brow part. 
So here is also much more important to do your brows look really defined but also really natural. I know guys it's really hard to believe but 99% of the time which makeup is looking really badass on the camera or at the picture it looks in real life really too much and a little bit more clowny. You know, that's the tea guys. Disclaimer out there, I am really bad at brows, so don't come for me. I'm gonna start to drawing brow hairs into my brows, starting to the middle part, like here. You don't have to be really precise in this part, I am not. As you guys can see, I am just drawing some brow hairs into my brows. Good, it looks right now really horrific, so, and after that, I'm gonna squish it with the spoolie, like this. This is only just the fastest way to do your brows, in my opinion. I'm gonna use the same contour palette from before, and also the same shade, which is this one. I'm not gonna use any eyeshadow primer whatsoever because I would love to create only just a shadow to my eyelid and not a completed eyeshadow look with eye primer. Just a little bit of shadow. I'm gonna use my Kayon. also from Revolution Beauty. I think this is the Pro HD eye pencil. I don't know exactly but it was also really cheap so it's two dollar or something. Smudge everything out. I'm gonna use the same brush which has a little bit of residue from the counter shade. And go ahead. After this step, I'm gonna use a little bit of mascara, of course. The Big Lash XL Volume Mascara. This is new from Revolution Beauty. But this is the perfect mascara to do your lashes really, really natural looking, but also really full and thick. And you guys can see the difference. That will make you look fuller. So. And that's it for the eyes. I think it looks absolutely gorgeous behind my glasses. I have only just one and only luxury product in my life, which is my glasses which is Gucci. Hmm? After then we are gonna move into the lips. And this is why it goes really hard, because we have to wear a mask. Not only you have to look professional, but makeup has to be mask proofed. This is the Revolution Lip Liner in the shade Original. I, and I'm gonna line my lips nicest way possible and I am not gonna outline it too much. If you are outlining your lips, to a job interview, is it looks really unprofessional. I'm gonna use a bullet lipstick from Revolution Beauty as well. This was a collaboration with Alto Warish. She had also a really nice nude eyeshadow palette and the lipstick and the eyeshadow palette was the part of the collections. And this is one of my favorite bullet lipstick from Revolution Beauty since then. The perfect nude to me. Not too pink, not too brown, a little bit more peachy. After all of this, I'm gonna use a little bit of highlighter. I cannot live without highlighter, of course, guys. I'm sorry, but I just can't. So I'm gonna use a little bit to my nose, only just to the middle of my nose, but not too much. 
and also a little bit under my glasses here a bit to my upper lip like that's it nothing else and after this step I'm gonna fix everything to make it mask proof of course so I'm gonna use the Rose Fix makeup fixing spray from Revolution Beauty I have a lot of stuff from Evolution Beauty and hello there I am tapping the setting spray into the foundation and the base what I have Usually I am wearing the matching suit trousers with this and also a high heels but not too high to make it comfortable. This completes my video for today. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it and found it helpful and informative. If you do, please consider subscribing to my lovely channel. I am upload every Monday and Friday 6pm. And I wish you all the best to find your perfect job. So thank you very much for watching and see you in the next time. Take care, bye!